What's up, y'all? Welcome to Miss Taylor with the tea. I'm a little late today because I was watching um, the Clark sisters, like I'm sure everybody else was, and it was really, really good. Um, so yeah. So today is going to be more like story time. So the tea is going to be my tea today. Okay. I'm going to be spilling. I'm sipping my lemon CBD detox tea with a little bit of THC, honey, because it just relaxes me. And, you know, I'm just going to give y'all a little tea about me. So most of y'all know I am a single mother. I have a six-year-old who will be seven next week my little Aries is what he is and he is probably the best thing to happen to me because he's literally came through saved my life but let me tell you about how he came into the world completely unexpected so I remember it was uh, 2012. It was May, Memorial Day weekend. I was visiting some of my Memphis, Tennessee family. And um, me and my best friend went because we were at Arkansas um, at her papa's. Uh, she can correct me if I'm wrong. 98, 97, 96, who knows? Because he was up there, okay? So we were for there for his birthday party. And she was like, since we right here in Arkansas, we should just go visit your family in Memphis. I was like, yeah, let's go, girl. So we go. Um, I get to see all my aunties because I hadn't seen them in a long time anyway. Um, Because as a kid, I used to go to Memphis a lot to see my family. But when I got older, they kind of stopped. Probably had a lot to do with my father being crazy and a whole lot of other stuff too which i'll probably get into more in this story so yeah we go i am glistening y'all that is because of where is this stuff right here boom my pink lemonade body butter by strip to get you some anywho so we go and we lick up with my aunt rita she's a libra like me so she's crazy she's all about the fun shit so she's like yeah Let's go to, to the casino. And me and my best friend, shout out to Stephanie, um, we were like, yeah, let's go. So we go to the casino. I meet this guy. He literally walks up on my auntie. He was like, yo, I want to marry her right now. And my auntie was like, excuse me? And he was like, I want to marry her. And I'm laughing and then he like pulls out all his money and he's like, let's go spend all this money and go kick it and party and hang out. Me being me in my young age, I'm like, shit, let's go spend it then. Let's kick it. So I spend the whole night with him. Um Somehow, somewhere, this is the time I was smoking weed, too. So, I ended up getting some of his weed and all this other kind of stuff. So, yeah, I was like, yeah, shit, we finna kick it. So, I'm on my way back. I'm thinking I'm never going to hear from this guy again. Like, we had fun. It was cool, whatever. I literally met him in Memorial Day, Memorial Day weekend in May. I was pregnant by July. Let me sip some tea on that. When I say I was pregnant by July, I was pregnant by July. Ooh, my bag fell. I was pregnant by July, honey. I didn't know nothing about this man. I thought I was in love, and I was like, we gonna be together, this boo. Okay, and then over time, he started revealing little things about himself, and I was just like, child, please. But by the time I found out I was pregnant, oh God, it was already too late. I was like, damn. So, but I had broke up with him before then. Like, we had got together, like, boom. Like, it was literally like, he called me on my way home from Memphis. 
We, he was like, you're gonna, we're gonna be together. And I was like, great. So he was like 40 something. I was 29. Yeah, I was 29. Because that year I was supposed to go, I was turning dirty 30. So I was like, shit, I better kick it for my birthday. We going to Vegas. <sighs> Child, July rolls around. I can't remember which part of July, but it was July when I found out. So it was one time I was getting high. And I was like, I want a snow cone. Prior to that. I mean, I hadn't had my period, but that wasn't the first time I hadn't had my period. So I'm thinking everything cool. You know, I'm probably just stressed out because shit, I'm dealing with this person here. He's crazy, but whatever. I just overlook his craziness. And then at the time I went working, like I just had a lot going on. So I'm just smoking all the time, super depressed, you know, very vulnerable, just all kind of stuff. So I literally was like, oh, I want to snow cone. So we go get a snow cone. And um, I throw up so much from the snow cone. Like I literally thought I was dying. I was throwing up so much. I was like, call the ambulance. <laughs> and I remember my mom was like, I'm not calling no damn ambulance. I was like, call the ambulance because I think I'm dying. And she was like, no. So I was like, screw that. I'll call the ambulance. So I call the ambulance. They come. I'm high as hell, too. And I'm like, I think I'm dying. I think I'm dying. And they were like, ma'am. They checked my vitals. They was like, are you sure you're not pregnant? And I was like, what? Who? What? Who? Me? And they were like, yes, ma'am. I'm like, I couldn't possibly be pregnant. Like, what are you talking about? Right? So... My mom hears them asking that she talking about mm, 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 the whole time. And I'm like, whatever, child. But they were like, okay, Miss Taylor, you're fine. You're going to live. So I'm like, bet. So the next day, I call Stephanie and I'm like, yo, I, call, I thought I was dying. They told me I may be pregnant. So I don't know. And she was like, I'm going to get a test and we're gonna. I'm just going to come over. I'm like, okay, fine. So she comes over, she gives me a test, and I'm just like, I don't want to take this shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't want no kids. I repeat, I did not want kids. Like, I wanted to freaking, like, hot girl summer it all the way up. And no. Okay? So, I ended up taking the test. So, I ain't even, but let me tell you. So, before I even took the test, it was like, as soon as I got ready to, like, like do like pee on the little stick the thing screamed out pregnant pregnant and i was just like what i'm like i'm pregnant i'm like lord how am i gonna be somebody mom i'm like one of the most irresponsible selfish people uh, what like i'm supposed to be kicking it and i'm pregnant how sway how and pregnancy was awful for me. Like my my family, my mom basically hid me for six months. Because she was like, I don't want nobody asking me no questions about you being pregnant. And I'm like, okay, but I'm like grown, but whatever. It was awful. Um my friend, it was hard for my friends to accept because I'm like party, I was party girl, and it was just like no, uh, party girl was gone, and here I am now, not party girl no more. City girl, hot girl, Megan Thee Stallion, hybrid before I them, it was Miss Taylor. But honey, I had to retire her. And at the time, I was like, damn, I ain't working, I ain't got no money. I had got away from him, so I was here. So in Dallas, and I was like, what the hell am I going to do? Like, I was so depressed. I cried because I was like, ain't nobody going to hire me while I'm pregnant. So what am I going to do? <sighs> Thank God I wasn't like super duper showing. So I forgot how I found out, but I didn't find out about the IRS hiring. Mm -hmm. So I went for the, I was just like, screw it, I'll go. So I ended up going on an interview and I got hired. <laughs> 
And this is before I was showing. So when I came back to like work, the girl was showing and they were just like, excuse me. And I was just like, yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know. But I work. I got to meet some of the best people in the world working there. Like it was one of the best times ever. Like I loved everybody that I worked with that was there. Um, God really took care of me. He blessed me in spite of everything. Like prior to my son Paxton, I was a fucking train wreck. Like I ain't gonna lie, because when I lost my dad, it pretty much like that took my heart and my soul losing him. Um, as my brother say, he was Marcus Garvey. Uh, I forgot who else. My father's very charming, very charismatic. And at the same time, he was Joe Jackson. So it, he was multifaceted to say the least. And, um, when he died, I literally felt like I lost everything. Like, I felt like I didn't have anybody to literally take care of me and protect me anymore. But at times, I felt like I didn't even have anybody to protect me from him. That's a whole nother Taylor talk. But, um, yeah, I remember I used to smoke weed a lot. I was a pothead. I remember I was like, ain't no, ain't no man gonna ever make me stop smoking weed. Shit, Paxton Taylor did. Paxton! Come here. Let me show y'all him. This is who made me get my act together. Come in here. Just say hi real quick. Get out. Hi. Bye. Close my door. It was him, the grace of God in prayer that made me like get my life together. And that's literally why I go so hard. Like I bust my ass for him and for me because I never want him to not experience, to have to go through the things that I went through. Um, and I just want him to have opportunity to be the greatest version of himself in any way that I can help him do that. God willing, I'm going to do so. So that's why I go so hard with everything that I do, literally, you know what I'm saying? And, um, I'm blessed. I'm truly blessed. So, yeah, I mean, I had an impulsive moment, which led to me having, 18 well 18 plus years of this person here that just came in here in my life and he's a godsend so yeah this is probably the longest miss taylor with the t because i just wanted to tell y'all like i don't really talk too much about that but yeah that's how i got pregnant by somebody i did not know i only knew him for two months and i got pregnant by him and it was one of the worst best things to happen to me so, to all the women out there who got pregnant, like, you know what I mean when I say worst, best things. Because it ended up, it probably started out being the worst and then it turned out to be the best. So, um, count your blessings. And, um, that's my tea. Y'all, that's the tea, that's the tea, that's the tea. This tea is so good, I love this tea. Like, y'all need to get y'all some. That's why my skin looks like it does. That and that neutral burst. Enjoy y'all Easter tomorrow. God bless y'all. Love y'all. I'll be back next week to give y'all probably another story time because my life is really, I don't have a lot of crazy shit happen. So see y'all later. Bye.